안녕하세요 메이크업 아티스트 정세물입니다 오늘은 전에 알려드린 키세븐을 기초로 하는 베이스 메이크업을 알려드리도록 하겠습니다 베이스 메이크업에서는 양 조절이 정말 중요하거든요 베이스만으로 입체적인 메이크업을 완성할 수 있는 방법이 공개됩니다 다들 집중해서 봐주세요 그럼 지금 바로 설명드릴게요 Face. The first key seven that applies to base makeup is the thin and thick theory for a three-dimensional look of the face. This theory suggests that the amount of cosmetics you use and the method of application should vary depending on the thickness of skin and parts of the face to make a three-dimensional face. The V-zone where the cheeks connect to the chin is the thick zone, which has the thickest skin of the face. So, you should always start at this part when applying cosmetic products. This part should look nice and thick to make the face look three-dimensional. Wrinkles tend to appear more on the star zone, which refers to the middle of the forehead and the skin around the eyes and lips, as it has thin layers of skin and makes facial expressions. Therefore, you should apply only a small amount of products without giving any pressure. The T-zone, such as the forehead and nose bridge, has thin skin but has developed oil glands, making it become oily easily. So, try to use a small amount of cosmetics and you should include the step of getting rid of oily skin. Now I'm done with the theory. Let's practice together. The first step of base makeup is to apply sunscreen. I tend to apply a sufficient amount of sunscreen but if the next step has the function of UV protection, it's good to apply a thin layer of sunscreen. I'm using a puff to spread evenly. Use the edge of the puff to thoroughly apply it to the curved parts of the face. Spreading it evenly and flawlessly will prevent clumps in the next steps. Next step is to apply foundation. One of the common mistakes that we make is picking the foundation shade. People tend to make incorrect choices by looking at the color of the face only, without considering the color of the neck. This will leave obvious color differences between the face and neck, causing the face to look even bigger. So, when picking the foundation shade, you should check the color of the neck first. Once you've picked the shade, let's start at the V-zone, which has the thickest skin. Pour a reasonable amount of foundation. Pick it up with the brush. Spread evenly, starting at the V-zone. Because you tend to apply a lot of foundation to the V-zone, try to give some pressure. This will spread the foundation evenly. Relax your hand when applying it to the skin around the eyes, nose, and mouth. Sweep the brush gently when moving up to the forehead. Sweep the side of the face with the foundation left on the brush. This step is to match the face and neck naturally. Starting at the V-zone, moving on to the cheeks, around the eyes and mouth, forehead, eyelid, and side of the face.
see how the foundation left on the brush is fading away. If you have a look at the face, the V-zone will have the most amount of foundation applied, whereas the sides of the face will have the least amount of it. You should adjust the amount of foundation depending on the parts of the face to create a three-dimensional look. Next step is to apply concealer. Dab on the concealer with a brush and blend it into the skin. Use a smaller brush to cover the center of the blemishes Use a bigger brush to blend it out. Use the smaller brush to cover the center of the blemishes again. Repeat these steps. When applying concealer, it's important to blend it into the skin so that the concealed part does not stand out. If the blemish you wish to conceal is not too dark, you can just cover it with a big brush. The second principle of base makeup is the warm and cool theory of Key 7. It's about using a complementary color to make an even skin tone, which makes the face look healthy and younger. Cover the warm zone, such as the cheeks and nose, with cool shades. Cover the cool zone, such as around the eyes and mouth and between the eyebrows, with warm shades. The cool zone is also known as the star zone. I'll pick warm shades like orange. Apply a thin layer of it around the dark circles. Start at the border of the dark circles and cheeks and work upward. Do you see how it is blended into the skin? you need to apply a thin layer to prevent any clumps. The cool zone is also known as the star zone. Remember, I told you that you should apply a thin layer of shades because the star zone has thin skin? Spread over the eyelid to match the tone. You can use your finger if you find it hard to spread evenly. Do the same for the other side. I don't think she needs shading around the mouth and between the eyebrows, so I'll just skip those parts. Next is powdering. Powder plays the role of getting rid of oily skin. It also adds more coverage to the star zone, which has a thin layer of foundation and removes any clumps between wrinkles.
Pick up the powder with a brush and tap to remove excess. Gently tap the T-zone and sweep the brush. Sweeping the brush is to prevent the foundation from rubbing off and not to make the base makeup look too heavy. Lightly sweep around the eyes. It's very important to control the pressure on your hand when applying powder. Especially, makeup around the nose can rub off easily. So, you should relax your hand as much as possible. If you sweep around the lips and chin, the whole face will look nice and neat. And with that, we're finished. Okay,今日は簡単な絵や文字じゃなくてメイクアウトの基本のベースが簡単なやくだうんアイメイクアップなりメイクアップと、あるんだけ表現できるんですよ。細かく重要なパーツがあるので、皆さんにとっても多くの